started for last Thursday, and it was Pedro's theme, What Turns You On? So I'm going to make it up to you now and share that with you. Hey kids, it's Thursday. Actually, no, it's probably not going to be Thursday. I don't know when I'm going to show this video. Probably on a weekend. But I missed last Thursday because I was on the uh, Alan Chuck Travel Cruise. And just before I went on the cruise, my um, laptop had no memory. I went to upload this video and my computer said it had memory full. So what I did was I went and got a tower and took every single picture from my laptop and moved it and all the videos that I had already edited and moved them and cleaned up my computer completely. Unfortunately, I deleted the video I recorded for last Thursday and it was Pedro's theme, What Turns You On? So I'm going to make it up to you now and share that with you. What are my turn-ons? Gosh, I have a lot of turn-ons. Um, and I'm sure everybody has a lot of turn-ons, but my number one turn-on is height. If you're tall, like six, seven. Oh, that just drives me crazy. Um, it's not a requirement. I did a lot of guys shorter than me. It's not a requirement, but it is definitely a turn on. Um, I'm also turned on by big, muscly, steroid thug, bodybuilder. Like, oh, I just love it. Because, I don't know, maybe it's a subconscious thing where they make me feel petite. If they're bigger than me and taller than me. Um, again, that's not required. Um, in fact, if you're a short guy and you're big muscly, that is a turn on. I just love muscle. I also like body modification anyway. Like, I love gauged ears. I love tattoos. I love, uh, I love everything. I just love it when you take your body and turn it into an art form and modify it. Much like a tranny does. You know, a tranny will, you know, get the boobs, the lips, and all that. And a guy, I just like it. Um, I don't know. It's a turn on. Not required, just to turn on. Um, generally speaking, I love dark hair. Guys with dark hair, I don't know, maybe because I was blonde until I was 17, and um, I just like dark hair. Um, what else is a turn on? I like intelligent guys. I like guys that know a lot of things. In fact, I think nerds rule the world. I'm really attracted to nerds. Um, nerds are awesome. Smart guys rule, but I'll tell you what I do not like, and I can't stand, is a know-it-all. Oh, God, I hate, and it happens all the time, I'll be in a conversation with somebody that knows everything, they've done everything, they can do it better than you, and you're like, I don't want to talk to you anymore, because there's nothing to say. It's just annoying. Um, but I really love smart people. I love learning. I think knowledge is power. And when I surround with people that actually know stuff and share knowledge, I love that. But I know it all is annoying. Um, bad breath is a huge turnoff. Um, in fact, not taking care of your teeth in general is a big turnoff. I love kissing. Love, 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 love kissing. I love passionate men. I love aggressive men. I like a man that knows what he wants and is not afraid to take it. I like a guy that, um, basically, I don't like guys that wait for you to make the first move every time. It's annoying. I don't want to be the one that, you know, I want to be wanted. I want to be spoiled. I want to be pampered. I want to be wanted. And... Yeah, a guy that makes me feel that way, I like. Um, what else turns me on? I like a guy that, you know, like, you know how you a good waiter that brings you everything you need before you ask for it? That's what I want in a relationship. I want a guy that does for me what I need before I ask for it. I don't like asking for help. I don't like asking for anything. But at the same time, I want somebody to just 
you know, see that I need help and do it. Um, I like creative artistic men. I like men that can sew. I like men that can cook. I like men that can clean. Um, I like organized men. I hate lazy men. Um, I don't know, I'm just a really hard worker and sometimes when I get home I just want to collapse and die. Like the last two days I've literally been in a coma. I've woke up, did my obligations and went back to sleep. Like coma toast. And it's weird. <laughs> I'm just getting my voice back from the cruise. Um, I don't know what the other girls said with their turn ons, but I think that's my turn ons. You know. Yeah. I would definitely date a feminine guy. I would definitely date another drag queen. I would definitely date a queenie man. But a turn on would be a man that makes me feel like he's strong and is going to take care of me. Yeah. That's it. Anyways, that was Misty Eyes for Queens of the Week. Talk to you soon.